Tanya Young-Williams, you are the celebrity spokesperson for the National Domestic Violence Hotline. Up next on the stand, possibly the final defense witness, Alice LaViolette. Uh, she's coming up any moment now. She is a champion for battered women who is going to testify on behalf of the defense, even though a lot of people feel Jody Arias has made a joke out of the whole battered women's defense. What do you think of that? <laughs> Well, Jane, I first have to say that um, in the capacity of speaking today, I'm not speaking on behalf of the National Domestic Violence Hotline. I am speaking primarily as an advocate for women and survivors of domestic violence because I just think that Jody Arias, and I've never had held this position before, but I don't think Jody Arias exhibits the 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 position that one who has experienced domestic violence before exhibits. Um, it's not in the testimony she's given. It's not in the manner in which she's given the testimony. And the biggest issue for me is she hasn't been able to answer why. Why didn't she write anything down? Why didn't she go to the authorities? Why didn't she tell anyone? I mean, you don't have to do it, and very often some domestic violence victims do not, but they do have an answer as to why. Maybe they're afraid that no one will care. Maybe they have no one to tell, but she could never even answer that simple question and that further that was a big red flag to me so you're listening to domestic violence expert alice laviolette talking about well respectful relationships between men and women arguably something that uh travis and jody did not have they had a kinky kind of raunchy relationship but does that equate to domestic violence what's the strategy going to be we have some insight from tanya young williams an advocate for victims of domestic violence. Give us your insight into how the defense is gonna use this particular witness. Well, Jane, listening to this expert, and of course she's wonderfully qualified to give offer testimony here, but it seems to me that she's not going to try to convince the jurors that Jody is in fact a victim of domestic violence as much as she's going to be able to say that Travis exhibits the personality traits of an abuser. And what makes her testimony different than our last expert is she's not only going to have to rely on Jody's testimony. She's going to look at his text messages. She's going to listen to his voice messages, and she's going to be able will say to the jury, taking his own words, he exhibits some of the personality traits that abuser has. And that's very different than just saying that Jody is not the victim or Jody is the victim of domestic violence.